G'day fellow YouTubers. Um, what we're going to do today is install these two Collins mechanical filters into this uh, AOR AR5000 communications receiver. Now I own two of these receivers and I think they're the probably the best receiver out there for the money. Um, I believe AOR do make some uh, better receivers these days but they cost mega bucks. These things second hand are actually reasonably affordable these days. Um, just some quick specs on the radio. Uh, 5 kilohertz, all the way up to 2600 megahertz or 2.6 gigahertz and it actually does receive at 5 kilohertz, 6 kilohertz, 7 kilohertz, it actually does work there. A lot of receivers start receiving at 20 or 30 kilohertz but they don't actually work down there. All they do is receive broadcast band interference. This little puppy actually receives beautifully down there. In fact it receives beautifully right across the whole range from uh, 5 kilohertz all the way up to 2600 megahertz. And sensitivity uh, is excellent all the way up to 2600 megahertz which there's no other receiver that I know of that does that. A lot of receivers go over 1.2 gig these days but uh, sensitivity drops dramatically. These things maintain sensitivity all the way up to 2.6 gigahertz which makes them ideal for uh, in my sat and uh, all sorts of other uh, things. Alright, um, let's say the job today is to install these two filters. Now from, I've owned this uh, receiver for a while. From memory I think I've already put the AM6 kHz Collins filter in there. So today we're going to be installing the sideband filter and the CW filter, 500 Hz filter. Alright, I'll put the camera down, I'll turn it off and uh, I'll get back once I've opened the receiver and you can have a look inside. Okay, well I've just removed the cover off the radio and uh, surprise, surprise, the uh, single sideband Collins filter that I was going to put in there is already in there. That's, that's it there. I thought I'd put an AM filter in it a few years ago. Evidently I didn't. I put a sideband filter so that's one less filter that I have to put in. So all I have to do is put the narrowband filter CW filter in that slot in there. Um, the AM filter would be this uh, this black one here. So uh, I don't have one to put in there so it looks like I'm just putting in the uh, one filter. While I've got the cover off um, give you a bit of a look inside the radio. They're very very well made uh, receiver as you can see. Um, Everything's uh, well laid out. All the wiring's neatly laid out. Um, another thing I've discovered is that the uh, this particular receiver's actually got a tone board, a um, CTCSS uh, decoder board in there, from what I can see. I think that's what it is. It's that board at the back there. Anyway, I'll uh, have to put the camera down. I've only got two arms. I'll put the camera down and I'll pull that board out of the uh, receiver. Okay, we're back again. Now uh, there's the um, the board. I've now installed the uh, filter. That's that uh, blue one you can see there. It's the 500 hertz uh, CW filter. So I'm ready to pop the board back into the radio. And once the board's in the radio, you need to configure the filter via the uh, menu on the front panel. Basically it just tells the radio that there is a narrow filter and it lets you call it up in the menu. The uh, AR5000 um, contains a lot of filters even uh, well let's count them. There's a one, two, well that's that's an additional one. Forgetting about that one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven filters in there. And there's probably even more if I actually look for them. It's a very, very well filtered radio. Um, another great feature of this radio is the uh, temperature control crystal oscillator. That's that little rectangular thing you see there, TXC01. Very, very stable radio and it, uh, it um, doesn't drift. It, it drifts 
of uh, about you know five or ten hertz and that's about it it's it's amazing uh, I've actually connected it up connected an external GPS locked uh, reference to the back of the radio and um, you know what I couldn't notice any difference with it on or with it off so it's uh, the built-in uh, TXCO is absolutely amazing Anyway, I'll put the board back in. I'll have to uh, turn off the camera again while I put the board in. Okay, here we are back again. Um, the board is now, the filter board's now back in the radio. I forgot to mention that um, on this particular radio, when you're adding additional Collins filters, they do have to be soldered in. There's no sockets or anything like that. So, and they can be a little bit fiddly. Um, the, uh, the holes are already there for the Collins filters but uh, for some reason um, well I guess wave soldering the um, AOR decided to fill the holes in with solder and um, usually you put the solder wick on and uh, there's always that one that doesn't want to uh, flow so you'll usually get two uh, easy to take remove the solder but there's always one that the solder just doesn't want to come out it's mainly the one on the uh, the ground plane or the earth uh, side of the board so um, yeah it's a bit of a little bit fiddly operation but anyway it's uh, it's done done uh, I took another one of these uh, receivers and I'll just say I've replaced a couple of filters in the other one already so a bit fiddly but it can be done just have to be careful Okay, I've put power to the radio. I'm ready for the smoke test, so uh, here it goes. Now there's there's no antenna here, so obviously this isn't going to be much good. We go to the filter menu, and there's the because uh, I've got no antenna, you're not really going to hear much in the narrow bandwidth, but. Um, That's the uh, CW filter. So, as I was saying before, lots of filters in this radio. There's now the 500 hertz, that's 3 kilohertz, 6 kilohertz. 6 kilohertz is what you'd use on AM. 15 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz, 110 for uh, FM broadcast stations and 220 for uh, stereo FM broadcast. The uh, up here where it says 3 kilohertz is actually 2.5 kilohertz because it's got a different filter in there. You can hear the uh, the difference in receiver noise when you go to the narrower filters. You can see the noise drops dramatically. That's the advantage of having a narrow filter when you're listening to modes like Morse code where you're just listening to a tone you select this uh, narrow frequency filter and uh, eliminates a lot of noise that you would normally receive on a wider filter anyway that's all working so we'll just turn that off okay radio's all back together again the cover's on ready to be installed back in its little spot next to its uh, its brother as I said I'll try to do a bit of a review on uh, these radios when I get a bit of time but um, anyway it's safe to say that there's no radio for less than two thousand dollars that's going to perform as well as these do apart from maybe the uh, the ICOM 9000 which is a similar aged unit but uh, much larger than the ICOM 9000 is probably about uh, five or six times bigger than this radio it probably does perform better in some respects 
but uh, depending on what you want to do with it, this the AR5000 still has better features. In fact, uh, like as typical for radios, uh, this one's got lots of features that I like, and the uh, 9000 has got lots of other features that I like. It'd be great if someone combined the two. Anyway, well, uh, enough of that. I'll uh, go install it and uh, catch you next time.